Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. So in this presentation, we are going to continue answering mathematics paper 1 for 2024 external candidates, that is uh, GCE grade 12. So we are going to continue from question 14. So here we have a question that is coming from a uh, circle theorem. The question reads, in the diagram, PQRS appoints on the circle with the center O. And PQR is equal to 68 degrees. TRU is a tangent at R. So this is uh, the circle that is presenting the points P, Q, R, S. So we have been told that O is the center. Then TRU is the tangent at point R. Then we have angle P, Q, R meaning that the angle at Q is 68 degrees. So, here, what we normally do is, before we even uh, look at the questions, we try to solve them, can try to find some angles within. So, here we have the angle, which is uh, on the circumference, and here we have the center. So, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, meaning that, if you have 68 degrees here, the angle which will be here should be two times bigger than the angle on the circumference. So here you are going to say 68 degrees times 2. So 2 times 8 is 16. You write 6, you carry 1. 2 times 6, 12. Plus 1, 13. So meaning that 68 degrees times 2 to give us 136. So the angle which is right here is a 136 degrees. Okay. Now, after finding this angle right here, you can see that you have PR, which is the, the code. Okay. Then from this code, we also have these, uh, we have the radius PO. Then we also have another radius RO. So these, this radius and this radius, they are coming from the same code and uh, joining at the center so this radius is equal to this what radius now when you look at p o r what shape are we having we are having a what a triangle now because of these two radius that are equal meaning that the angle which is here and the angle which is here they are equal so we have what we call isosceles triangle Okay, so an isosceles triangle has two sides equal and two angles equal. Then we know that the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180. So if we add the angle which is here plus the angle which is here and the angle which is here should give us 180. So we assume that here we have x. So even here you can have x. So you say x plus x plus this angle here which is 136 degrees. This will give us 180 degrees, which is the sum of angles in a triangle. So x plus x, this will give us 2x, okay? Then equal to 180 degrees minus 136 degrees, minus 136 degrees. So we are going to have 2x is equal to, so when you subtract 180 minus 136, so 0 take away 6 is can't you borrow 1 from 8. This will be 10 minus 6 to give us a 4. So here we remain with a 7 minus 3 to give us a 4. 1 minus 1 is a 0. So this will give us 44 degrees. So you need to find the value of x by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So this and this will cancel. x equal to 2 here 1. 2 into this uh, 4, it's a 2. 2 into this 4, it's a 2. So x is equal to 22 degrees, meaning that here, we had the angle which was 22 degrees. Even here, the angle which is 22 degrees. So I hope you are able to see how we are answering these uh, questions. Then from there, there is another property that we can use. You can see PQRS. This is what we call a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? So opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 100, 180 degrees. So this angle is opposite to this one okay so this angle and this angle when we add them the sum should be 100 and what 
80. So to find the angle which is right here, let's say we have y, angle y. So we're going to add 68 degrees plus y, which should give us 180. Okay? So we are going to add this. We we'll just say y plus 68 degrees should be equal to 180. So this property we are saying it's angles in the cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles. They add up to 180. That's why we have applied this uh, principle. So I need to find the value of y. I will say y equal to 180 degrees minus 68 degrees. So y equal to uh, 0 minus 8. It can't you borrow a 1 from 8. This would be a 10 minus 8. It's a 2. We remain with a 7 minus 6. It's a 1. Then there is this one here. So this will give us y is equal to 112, meaning that here we had 112 degrees. Now we can look at the questions. Find P O R. So they want the angle which is on O. Come back to our diagram. P O R, the angle which is here. What angle is that? Say 136 degrees. So here we have 136 degrees. Then we look at it, find PSR, the angle at S. Okay? PSR, the angle which is right here. We have found that it's 112 degrees. So write 112 degrees. Okay? Then lastly, you come to this one, which is PRO. So P R O the angle at R P R O the angle which is right here. We found that it's a 22 degrees. So here we are just going to write 22 degrees. Okay. So we just write our answers here. The first one we found that this is a uh, 136 degrees. The second one is 112 degrees. Lastly. 22 degrees okay so these were the answers to these questions so we have now come to the end of our session thank you so much everybody for having time to view this content this has been your presenter mr mlenga bye bye